Hey guys, it's Sarah here with Craft Test Dummies, and today I'm super excited to show you guys a product by The Buckle Boutique, and these are called self-adhesive rhinestone sticker sheets. So what that means is you get this awesome bling on a adhesive backing, and The Buckle Boutique offers this in many different colors from solids to some really fun and funky patterns. They come in two different sizes, 6x10 and 10x20, depending on your project size and what you're going to need. So what's really cool about these rhinestone sticker sheets compared to other st rhinestone sticker sheets that are on the market is the rhinestone itself. Buckle Boutique has perfected a gel rhinestone. So these are really easy to cut through. And just to kind of show you how easy it is to go through them, your regular bling is going to be more like a plastic. You can't really cut it and you could definitely not stick a needle through it. So I can go in here and I'm going to try and focus and zoom and I can go right right through one of these gels without applying much pressure and even go through one on the other side. So it's pretty cool how easy this stuff is and it's really flexible too. So like I said, the Buckle Boutique has absolutely perfected this. So how easy is it to actually cut with things that you already have around your craft room? Well, one, you can definitely use a paper cutter for it. And go ahead and you're going to want to always cut with your rhinestone down and the white paper backing um, on top. And you can just run through that really easily. And you can see that that cut really well. And then even if we go in a little bit closer, you can see that it goes right through the rhinestones themselves. So you can cut it with a paper cutter. You can cut it with a variety of scissors that you might have in your stash. Um, everything from your Fisker scissors will work. If you have some office scissors that maybe you swiped from your husband or something, um, even kid scissors will cut through this really, really easily. So I just thought that was super cool how easy it is to cut through and how that gel really just allows you to cut. Here I can go through with pinking shears and you can again see that it cuts through the actual gel gem itself. Uh, you can also cut through it with a X-Acto knife or a craft knife. And just to show you again, I'm always going to cut with the rhinestone side down. I can just drag my Zacto through there really easily and it cuts through. So I think that's really really cool. Um, from aside from your scissors, your exacto knife and everything else, I know you guys are asking, can I use it in my die cut machines? Absolutely. Um, I really prefer, I really like using um, your thicker steel rule dies. Um, here you can see I cut through a heart and again, it just goes through that gel rhinestone so wonderfully. It is such a clean cut. Um, I also was able to get framelits to work with it. I will say that larger framelits work better. Um, I did use them through in my cuddle bug. Um, you can see with the larger shape here, you still get all of your kind of points and stuff around the edges. With the smaller one, the same shape, you kind of lose some of the detail. I even was able to cut a little teeny tiny birdie there. And you can still see what it is, but... Again, the larger shapes definitely work better with the framelits. Um, can you use it in your electronic die cutters? Absolutely, yes. Um, I played around a lot with this with my Cricut and my Silhouette. And um, here are some of the shapes that I cut with my Cricut. Make sure you can see here, I forgot to hit the flip image button, but... Um, I will say that it generally, with the Cricut, cuts better shapes if it's larger and you don't have as many turns on the blade. So you can see these ones came out really well. Once it came down to trying like a crown, you can see the Cricut really missed a lot of the detail there. And even here's my kind of mess up sheet as I was trying to get all of my settings right. You can see it still kind of gunked up the paper backing on it and didn't quite go through all the way and get, again, a lot of that finer detail. So the last time that your um, blade has to move kind of on a small rotation, um, the better cut you'll get. And then with my silhouette, again, I was able to cut. I didn't have to go through these double time either um, or hit the twice cut button. So again, here's a great shape by the silhouette. I was even able to get it to cut something really fine and thin. I wouldn't necessarily recommend going this small and thin when cutting the bling sheets, but you definitely can. Um, so... As I mentioned before, these are all really sticky, right? These stick on all kinds of stuff. Um, I was able to get it to stick on a candle, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, 
I also, just as a test swatch, put a couple pieces on a piece of um, scrap fabric I had, ran it through the washing machine on hand wash and cold cycle, and I was really surprised it totally stuck and went through the washing machine totally fine. I didn't want to put it in the dryer because I thought the heat might affect the adhesive on it, but um, yeah, I thought it was pretty cool how that worked. And then it's got a great stick on the back of it. You can stick it with just about everything and re-stick it. So I'm just going to show you guys. Let me peel one a little scrap off here. And here's a piece of just regular textured cardstock. I can smush that down. I can move it around and my rhinestone sticker sheet is still adhering to it. If I don't like it and I want to move it, I can carefully peel it away and it's not going to affect any of the paper and I can still stick it down and you can hear the stick on there. Um, with a pattern paper, if you want to put it down, again, definitely stay and is stable on the piece of paper. But if you want to reposition it, you'll just have to be a little bit more careful because sometimes I notice that it might tear some of your design off of your pattern paper. Well, you guys, that's about it for the Buckle Boutique Rhinestone sticker sheets. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Stay tuned to Craft Test Dummies because I'm going to have all of my cut settings and little tips and tricks for using this product um, in your craft room on the website with a full review and some awesome pictures of samples. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments, but stay tuned to Craft Test Dummies and I hope you guys have a crafty day. Talk to you later, guys.